Um, so thyroid cancer uh, is the fastest growing cancer in incidence worldwide, and right now it's the number one cancer in young women. Uh, thyroid is a small um, butterfly-shaped gland that's just uh, located in the neck, just above the collarbone, and it produces hormones that regulate the metabolism rate of the body. Right now, the standard of care is to remove the thyroid gland in cancer patients and put them on hormone therapy uh, for life because we don't know what's causing these cancers, unfortunately, even though the incidence is going up. The purpose of my research is to look at these cancers more closely uh, on the molecular level and hopefully we will be able to find the mutations on the DNA level that are causing these cancers. And by targeting these mutations specifically, we'll be able to provide a more personalized cancer therapy to patients with less toxicity and negative side effects. How we do this is we start by the samples that we get from our collaborators. These are the physicians who do the operations on the cancer patients and we sequence the DNA from these tissues uh, using these so-called next-generation sequencing technologies. Uh, these are very new, very high-tech technologies which have transformed the field of cancer research, and now we are able to sequence a complete human genome for about $10,000, and it takes about a week to do so. Uh, we can do experiments which uh, we, weren't, we couldn't even imagine of doing four or five years ago, and it has truly transformed how we do research at the BC Cancer Agency. After the sequencing is done, my job is to look at the DNA sequence from the tumor tissue and compare it with the DNA sequence from the normal tissue and figure out what are the differences between the two. If there are mutations and changes that are only present in the tumor tissue but not in the normal tissue, then I can perhaps say the genes that are affected by these mutations are the ones that are causing the tumor and targeting those genes specifically is going to kill the, the cancer cells and leave the normal cells alone and hopefully we can provide a targeted therapy. Uh, however, the problem is when you do such a comparison, you see between thousands to millions of differences between the DNA sequence of the two samples. And not all of them are important. Um, we don't have an exact number, but some of the experts in the field believe that there's probably five to ten of those mutations that are actually causing the disease. And they call them the driver mutations. And the rest are passenger mutations. They're just on for the ride, and they're not important. We have to be able to tell apart the driver mutations from the passenger mutations to be able to kill the cancer cells, even though these mutations look exactly the same. And that's the goal of my project, to find the driver mutations behind the thyroid cancers, and hopefully by targeting those, we can um, provide a more personalized uh, therapy to cancer patients. Thank you.